When you start a lawsuit, and now you go ahead and file the documents necessary to start your case, when someone does a Google search on you, are they going to learn that you have actually filed a lawsuit in New York and now learn all the details about what happened to you as well as all of your injuries? Would you like to know the answer? Come join me for a walk because I share with you the answer to that question. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. When you go ahead and file a lawsuit in New York, what you are doing now is you are filing a document with the court and it's actually two documents. One is called a summons, and that's a document that alerts the people whom you are suing that they have a certain amount of time to answer the second document. Okay, what's the second document? The second document is called a complaint. That is a document that sets forth general allegations, allegations of negligence or medical malpractice, and there are many other types of allegations that can be made as well. So in that instance, now you've started the lawsuit, you filed these two documents, is that information public? The answer is yes. It is public if someone knows where to look. If someone just does a Google search, it typically does not show up. However, if somebody knows how to go into the court system, that is a public database. And now if they go ahead and search that information, they will find this particular document or two documents called a summons and a complaint. Now, you're a very private person. You don't like to disclose private information to any friends or family members. And you're thinking to yourself, do you really want to go through this whole process and now have your entire life open to the public? All your damages, all your injuries, all your limitations and disabilities open to the public? The reality is that this particular document called a complaint does not detail and itemize all of your problems. In fact, it barely touches upon the exact type of injuries that you have, nor does it really go into detail about what was actually done to you. There are some instances in where we go ahead and actually do try and itemize what happened to you in this complaint. In that instance, somebody reading it will learn some of the details. But again, you are very private and you are hesitant to release information to the general public. You don't want your friends or family or co-workers to learn what it is that you are doing. You don't want them to learn about this lawsuit. You don't want them to know anything about what happened to you. And especially, you don't want them to know what limitations you are claiming and what restrictions on your activities you are claiming. Now, once this document is filed, your attorney has to take that document and now deliver it to the people whom you are suing. They then have a specific limited amount of time in which to answer the allegations in this complaint. Once they answer the allegations, that document, it has a fancy legal name called an answer, they're answering the allegations, will also be filed in the court. So you might be thinking, okay, if somebody reads that answer, will they learn more details about what happened to you and what injuries and restrictions and limitations you have? The answer is no, they won't. Why is that? because they are answering the exact allegations that you have raised in the document called a complaint. And the complaint is general for a number of reasons. It is not the opportunity for us to go ahead and itemize and detail every single thing that we believe was done wrong, and is not the opportunity to go ahead and detail all of the problems and limitations and injuries that you suffered because of someone else's carelessness. So don't think for a second that these documents are going to alert the world to the fact that here you have all these problems. No, that's not what's going to happen. So if somebody is actually trying to learn information about you, and if they do a detailed database search for you, it is likely that they will find that you have filed a lawsuit on your behalf seeking money as a form of compensation for your injuries. Okay, is there ever an opportunity for someone like that to go ahead and learn more information or more details in an online database or even a Google database search? The answer is most likely no. Although Google may show that you have actually filed a lawsuit and refer that person to a link to the court database, it's not going to give them any real detailed information. It is rare, it is a rare occasion where the parties will actually go ahead and then file what's known as a bill of particulars. Now you might be asking, what's that? So a bill of particulars actually details and itemizes everything with particularity, with specificity. So what am I talking about? It is the document that we use to tell the doctors and the hospital staff, the people whom you have sued, exactly what our claims are, what our theories are, 
what we believe the doctor and the hospital staff did wrong and why, if this was not done, you would not have suffered these injuries. It is also our opportunity to go ahead and detail and itemize exactly what injuries you suffered because of their carelessness. And this document is critical to going forward with depositions. Now, why is that? So first of all, a deposition is a question and answer session that's given under oath. First of all, a deposition allows each side the opportunity to learn from the various parties to the case what happened in their own words. What do they remember happening? What actually happened? Now, before a defense attorney will go forward with a deposition and question you, the injured patient, they want to know exactly what our claims are. They want to know what injuries and limitations and disabilities and restrictions you have and now compare it to your medical records. So it is critically important that we provide those details to the defense shortly after your lawsuit gets started or at some point before depositions are taken. Does that document ever get filed with the court? In most instances, it does not. There is no reason for us to file that with the court. We have to serve that and deliver it to the defense attorneys. The defense attorneys have to have this document. So to answer the question I raised a moment ago, will this document be filed with the court and will it be available for the world to see for anybody who searches? In all likelihood, that document will not be placed on the court system for filing and not be available for anyone to see. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to open your eyes so that you don't get surprised when you go ahead and start a lawsuit and then turn around and say, hey, my friend just Googled me and now they saw that I brought a lawsuit and they want to know what's this about. Why am I suing this doctor? They go to the same doctor. Is there something they should know about? And now you've opened up a can of worms and now you may have to explain to your friend what happened and what injuries you suffered. And that is something you likely want to avoid. You know, I realize you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you have not yet started a lawsuit, but are thinking of doing so and still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do, if you have questions, pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.